Hey, what's up, guys? I hope you're doing well. This is Steven Gattaletta with the Self Fulfillment Project. And in today's video, I want to talk about being a zebra. Zebras use their stripes as a sort of camouflage so that when they are in their herd, when they are in a large group, they appear much bigger than they are. And that poses it's basically safety in numbers and lions or whatever other predators they pose less of a threat to an individual zebra when he's in this group and in the same way human beings exist in groups we exist in, in cohesion with other people in, in social groups and there are many expectations there are many norms that are kind of coerced onto us. They're not forced, right? But there can be punishment for not adhering to all of these norms. The ridicule you can receive from people, sometimes even hatred, the dirty looks, the jealousy that people can that negative energy that people can direct towards you when you step out of that norm. And the way I want to correlate that to the metaphor with the zebras is that when we're in our herd, when we're in our social group, right, when we exist within society, it's comfortable, it's secure. We are in our comfort zone. And we have this fear to kind of step out, to put ourselves out there, and to be different, right? Which sucks because to be ourselves is to be different. We are different than other people. That's inherent, you know? We will be different than other people. And so when we are afraid to stick out, we're afraid to be ourselves. But what we have to realize is that there is no life for us in this, in this norm. There is no life for being who you are. There is no path to self-fulfillment remaining constrained by these norms, by these conditions that others have defined for you. What we have to do is step out of the pack and not be afraid to show our true colors, not to be afraid to be who we are. We need to face that lion by ourselves. We need to face that fear because the alternative is never being happy. The alternative is never being who you really are, okay? And some of you may be thinking right now, how do you know I'm not happy? If you can't be yourself, how can you be happy? And if you are afraid because you may be different from the group, Right? If you're afraid to show your true colors and really shine and be who you are, then no, I don't think you can ever be happy. Could I be wrong? I possibly could. I really could possibly be wrong. But it has been my experience and it is my intuition to think that if we don't have the audacity, if we don't have the courage to step out of the crowd, to stick out and be who we are no matter what may come our way, then we can't really be who we are and we can't really be happy. It's amazing how much we're willing to sacrifice who we are and what we want in order to be accepted and in order to be, to be a part of some group, right? Sometimes life is just like high school, right? Everybody just to, wants to be a part of the cool kids. Nobody wants to really stick out. Nobody really wants to say what they're thinking for fear of other people not thinking they're cool, other people not hanging out with them, whatever the case may be, right? It's that lion. It's that lion that faces us. We're in the middle of the group, kind of nodding our head, you know, going along, doing the dance that everybody does, wearing the same clothes everybody does, acting like we think the same way. But there's, there's dissonance. There's this cognitive dissonance we have because we know we're different. We feel different. We want to yell out that we're different. Hey, we're different! I'm different! 
We want to yell it to the world, but we're so conditioned to remain behind these bars. It's almost like we're in a straitjacket, you know? And we're forced, we're, we feel forced to act a certain way, to behave a certain way, to act like we think a certain way, even though it may contradict everything about who we are and everything about what we believe and everything about what we desire in life, right? But we see this lion, we see this threat that may come our way if we dare to step out and be who we are. But that's the key, we have to step out. I, I intended to make this a different video, but I think it fits perfectly into this. And that is one of the hardest things to do in life, but one of the most rewarding and most important is being honest. And honesty is not just about refraining from telling lies. Honesty is about living life with the utmost integrity, the utmost sincerity, and the utmost authenticity of who you are. Being honest is saying what you think. It's being who you are. And it's expressing that to the world, despite that lion, despite the fear that you may have, right? Despite whatever negative things that the group, whatever the group is, may, may direct towards you. And that's the hardest thing to do, to be completely honest, even with yourself. Because as I said before, sometimes we trick ourselves into thinking, yeah, I really think this way, you know? I really do think this way, or I, I really am like this. So whoever you are, whoever you are, be comfortable with that. Be comfortable with that and realize that you don't have to exist within this pack, okay? It may be comfortable, right? It may feel secure, but there's nothing more detrimental to your development as a person and to your happiness as a human being. There's nothing more detrimental to that than being forced to think, being forced to act against what you believe inside, against who you are, right? Almost like wearing a mask. So don't be afraid to step out of that group and to express yourself and to be who you are. Just because another person may not like it, just because the group may disagree with you, may frown down upon you for whatever reason, because you're different, don't let that be the deciding factor for you being who you are and expressing who you are. Because you will find other people Right? The more that you are confident in who you are, the more that you openly express who you are, the more you will become who you are, the more you will become fulfilled. And in that way, more people will be attracted to you. You know? Just think about all those amazing people who inspire us. Those people who broke the social norms, who broke the rules a little bit, right? And put themselves out there. At first, people looked at them and thought, what are you, crazy? Why are you doing this? Whether they, you know, dropped out of college to pursue a, you know, career in music, you know, whether it was they took off on a, a, a trip to go travel the world, whatever it was, people probably looked at them like they're ridiculous. Why are you doing this? Why don't you just, you know, follow this nice little path that's been laid out for us, you know? Why, why don't you just do what's normal? Why aren't you just normal? It's much more secure and safe, you know? Just be, be a part of the pack. You, you won't have to go face those fears, right? But what those people may not realize, or what they may be tricking themselves into thinking, is that beyond that fear, once it's faced, we find that path to become who we are. We find that path to really be open and free and to express who we are, to be honest with ourselves about who we are, and to be honest with the world about who we are. That is one of the hardest things to do, yet it is one of the most rewarding things to do in life. Because when you're honest, what do you have to lose, right? You no longer have to convince other people differently. You no longer have to try to convince yourself differently. That's the ultimate freedom. That's the ultimate liberation, is to be comfortable in your own skin and, and to be able to reveal that to the world and still be comfortable. So step out, guys. Be who you are, despite what others may think. Step out of the core group, right? Step out of your comfort zone. Step into the unknown. Look that lion in the eye. 
face that fear and conquer it, and you will be much happier in the end. You will become much, more, much more fulfilled because of it. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and leave a comment in the description or leave a comment in the comment box. And check the links in the description. And I'll be sure to respond to all your comments. That's it. Take it easy.